Hey Kevin, are you excited for Red Dead Redemption 2? <clears throat> F yeah! Do you think all the remastered video games are necessary, especially for the PC players with mods? Now personally, I really loved when remasters first started getting really big on PS3 and 360 because it was like, let's take this trilogy of awesome games from PS2 and just bring them all together at one set price. That was awesome. Has it gotten a little more excessive since then? Definitely. Is it necessary? Not at all. Are people going to still buy them because they want better looking versions of games? Yep. So it's going to keep happening. What do you think of the PS4 Pro so far? And by the way, I heard it can run The Last of Us at native 4K, which is awesome. I'm really excited for the PS4 Pro. I can't wait to pick one up in a week. I really want to see what games can run better on the system and what kind of pro modes we'll see for more titles. As far as The Last of Us running at 4K, that is awesome, but that is also in the mode that only runs at 30 frames. So personally, I'm probably still going to play the game at 60 frames, because for me, frame rate trumps resolution. Should we expect VR only in gaming in the near future? Also, favorite VR game? Depends on what exactly you mean by anytime soon. In the next five to 10 years, probably not. Sometime during our lifetime? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I think regular old school gaming is still gonna be around for quite some time, but VR is definitely gonna start taking over. Uh, as for my personal favorite VR game right now, it's gotta be Riggs. I'm a big sucker for anything involving giant robots and it's a bunch of fun. What do you think is next for gaming systems besides VR? What's your favorite feature of any game system ever? This is kind of a weird question for me because honestly I think VR is the natural way systems are going to evolve. If it's anything other than that, I think Nintendo does have the right idea with the Switch. We're taking what we normally think as a home console and making a hybrid of it with portable gaming. As far as my favorite feature of any system before, this is kind of a weird nostalgic thing and not actually a good feature, but I loved the VMU on the Dreamcast. The idea that my memory card on my controller was also a little portable game system, as crappy as it was, was just the coolest thing to me as a kid. What's your game of the year for this year so far? This is kind of a weird year for me because there's a lot of games that I really, really like, but there's really not a single one that stands out to me as like, oh, this is the most amazing game this year. I have to tell everyone to play this. Nothing's really hit me that hard yet. Uh, if I have to pick something right now, and this will probably change at some point, uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, I love the franchise, and this one did an excellent job of building on Human Revolution despite also having microtransactions added at the last second, which was kind of annoying. Uh, also, even though it's a remake, I loved the remake of Odin Sphere on PS4. That was one of my favorite games on PS2, but it was a little too pretty for the PS2 to handle, so playing it at a steady 60 frames is just amazing, and all the gameplay updates are superb. I loved it. What was your first video game? I honestly have no idea. I've been playing games as long as I can remember. I grew up in a household where there was an NES and Game Boy and all that kind of stuff available right away, so I don't know what I played first. My clearest memories are probably Tetris, Legend of Zelda, and Super Mario Bros. 3, but which of those I played first? No clue. What's under the beard? Bees. What was your biggest gaming disappointment as a child? Okay, so this isn't actually a game, but it is gaming related. Growing up, I was a huge nerd for Final Fantasy. That was my franchise. I loved every one of those games. And so obviously, when they announced a movie based on it coming out, Final Fantasy Spirits Within, I was really excited, because that couldn't possibly be terrible, right? I mean, yeah, sure, Super Mario Bros. movie was bad, but not all video game-based movies are bad, right? Right? Your must-buy PC game. Okay, now this question may have been looking for what recent game I really liked and want to tell people to buy on their PCs, but if I'm going to talk about my favorite PC game ever made, it's easily Elder Scrolls Morrowind. That is one of my favorite games ever made. It is one of the most immersive worlds, incredible lore, great writing. The only problem is it hasn't exactly aged well because the combat was not great. It was, it was not good at all. You can only play one game franchise for the rest of your life. What is it? Well, like I said earlier, growing up Final Fantasy was huge for me, and that's still gonna be, I think, my main answer if I can only play one franchise. I mean, there's so many freaking spin-offs that I wouldn't exactly be short on games to play, but there would definitely be one or two that I would need to ignore ever existing. What is your least favorite console or handheld ever released, and your favorite game on said device? So this one actually took me a little time to think about, because not counting systems that I've just heard about that were flops and actual game systems I've used, Honestly, I'm gonna have to go with the Wii. I mean, don't get me wrong, I loved a lot of the games on it, I love a lot of other Nintendo systems, but I just really hated the Wii as a system. I didn't like the controller, I hated the interface, and since it came out at the same time as the PS3 and 360, going between games and just seeing how low the quality was on the Wii, it just wasn't a big fan. Uh, as far as actual games on it though that I loved, 
My number one is probably Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, but that's kind of cheating because it was on GameCube as well. If I'm looking at Wii exclusive games, probably Mario Galaxy, because that's one of my favorite 3D Mario games, hands down. What made you start YouTube? So, real talk, I was one of those people that went to college because that's what you're supposed to do after high school, I guess? And I ended up graduating with a degree in English. Wasn't sure what I wanted to do for sure, but I wanted to do something gaming related. I wanted to write about games. So obviously the easy start there is reviews. Well, at that same time, my brother was working with John and they had just started up TLD. It was a tech focus channel and they wanted to do gaming stuff too, but didn't really know much about gaming. So they brought me on board and I did my first YouTube videos, which were terrible by the way. Do not look those up, please. As a favor to me, don't do that. But yeah, TLD ended up taking off, I spun off my own channel right here, and that's what brings us to today where I'm talking to you fine folk about video games. And it's a lot of fun.